Hey everyone, I'm Christina from Christina of Light. Thank you for visiting with me here. When you watch my videos, you're always in a protective bubble of love and light watched over by all my guides and angels. I'm in much gratitude to them for this. This is my Friday random reading for anyone who finds it, gets called to it. Um, there's a couple things. The lead up to this reading, I started getting very foggy and was having trouble speaking. I don't know what that's going to lead into, but um, we'll see. I was also told to say, <laughs> all right, all right, all right, <laughs> Matthew McConaughey. I don't know. I picked that up like an hour ago and somebody out there wanted me to start my video <laughs> with that. <laughs> I, I don't know. Anyways, but, um, another note, um, Mother Teresa, when I, uh, looked at her, her card just before this, she wanted me to remind you about on the card here, every little, every little thing matters, like, in the sense of not being nitpicky, but in the sense of helping and contributing every every little thing that gets done it it's the the small things actually add up to very large things so if you think you're not making an impact you are and um a person i follow alexander quinn starseed mentioned earlier today um I think it was him. About Japan. Uh, and oddly enough, the only reason I'm mentioning it, this is because I too this morning um, had gotten something about Japan as well. Um, there's, there's, a, there's something's going to happen. Um, it's been an active region anyways, and of course we all know that the Earth is going through a lot of shifting and a lot of evolution right now. Um, I just I want, wanted to put that out there. I do, When I do receive information like that, it was so quickly clarified with somebody else's information, and um, my feeling got stronger as the day went on. I wanted to just bring that up and mention it. Um, it's not a fear thing, it's just uh, my um, cosmic eye is seeing and picking up things. I'm not going to elaborate any further than that, but I quickly got signs uh, and other places that were signifiers for me, so uh, in any case... The energy is very active right now. There's, so I can see myself standing in my hair blowing, but there's a lot of activity around me. So, um, we are also going through the weather from Hurricane Debbie right now that the atmospheric pressure of that and the the storm ha is um, happening right now too so there's a little bit of a um, a war one from that happening outside um, I'm up in Massachusetts so but uh, in any case it's a little bit of stuff there <laughs> what the alright 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 is I'm a huge fan of Matthew McConaughey, so I wasn't upset about having to say it. It just, it caught me off guard. It was very funny. So, okay. I'm using my Seasons of the Witch, my Lunasa Lama stack here. 
because it is that season right now. And I've got two other clarifying decks, some further information. So the immediate energy is farmhouse, card number 17. The time has come for a greater sense of belonging and harmony within and all around you. <clears throat> There's a greater sense of purpose, um, callings, um, people's mind's eyes are opening, that expansion's occurring, and there's an ease in that, and a wanting of being with more, um, I don't want to say like-minded, but more um, energetically minded, <laughs> and like-minded um, soul tribe people um, who match um, you know, our frequencies and stuff. But like, for people like me who we can be in a group of people and our energy helps elevate the energy around us naturally, it automatically does that. Um, and the more time goes on and we grow more into our spirituality, that becomes even more um, prominent. But um, there's a more of a centering, wanting more harmony and peace and being more with nature and interacting with it as well. The overall energy is farm to table and this is card number 18 so you can see there's an evolution. And um, this is a daytime card and this is a nighttime card. So we're getting both aspects of that as well. And farm to table, it's not only interacting in your tribes, but it's bringing it to your, your home and your hearth. And being one with that nature, being one with your true internal self. And this is also, these are also internal energies as well. It's, it, it's creating that peaceful, harmonic, tranquil, togetherness, high vibe, really cleansing and purifying and grounding and just overall just, I could just feel it, it just feels so, so blissful. Not that everything is perfect in, in these places, it's just a, a more, um, in touch and um, flowing, you know, life happens and it's interacting with it, but it's also knowing when and what to do and how to flow with it and allowing without blocking yourself and just, you know, it's inter and inter intermingling with life. Uh, liberate yourself from influence and invoking the power within. It's going within for um your going into your own knowing and being in that inner power and trusting in that and you 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 know to do that um instinctually now and um less involvement in in the matrix that way um less having to reach out um, for this, I had, um, this is an ancestor reading, by the way, I should have, so many things came into me before I <laughs> started the reading. I had, uh, put on my community feed last night that this was an ans uh, ancestors had come to me and said that this was going to be an ancestor supported, uh, reading. And, um, you can see that right out of the gate because they're helping to support our um, breaking of old patterns and helping us move into this more, um, as I said earlier, purified and cleansed um, higher vibration uh, community, if you will, uh, communities. Because not, a, we're all one community, the collective. Um, we are all one love, um, the I am God, uh, one love, um, but you know, um, 
this group is here and this group could be here and and that's fine there could be people that intermingle and there it's you know it's that webbing that i always talk about the arachnid webbing of the whole the whole planet that crystalline um grid of the planet that interconnectedness and the more elevated we become and the more um telepathically connected we all become with our mind expansion the more that's gonna that's gonna be terracotta parts card number 39 you have the profound power there's power again it's been coming up in the past uh, couple days in the readings as well when you uh, stay true to yourself and those around you being your authentic self and accepting yourself finally and being comfortable in your skin that reverberates all around you listening to your message and this is the second card with like a dusk evening as well so um earlier i had posted about a, um a card that is it this card I did a short uh, moon flower right here and I talked about how the intermingling of um, the light and the dark and that's this is also expanding on that in this this reading as well um, we are comfortable flowing in our shadow and out of our shadow we know that in order to have light, we need dark, and in order to have dark, we need light. They are intermingling, we flow between them all, and there's no longer an allowance for shutting away the shadow and not doing the work that you need to do to help elevate yourself and help you to heal, because the planet is requiring that now. It's an unavoidable task, and life will show you that repeatedly until you get it. Hilltops, card number 27. Hold tight to your vision as you're being called to climb to new heights. Yes, we've already been elevated. There's been a few shifts. There's been a, t a few timeline uh, jumps, and that will continue to happen. We're, uh, there's a lot of birds in these cards, um, both spirit animals. Um, there's a lot of conversing going on while we're sleeping at night and while we're sitting with ourselves we should be listening um because there's a ton of messages coming in for us right now um and that will continue throughout the remainder of the year just because there's so much i can hear the chatter already all the groups i can see the angels i could see our ancestors i could see the spirit animals i could see the elementals um Ancestors, um, Ascended Masters. I'm even seeing Poseidon. Um, Poseidon comes to me a lot, actually. <clears throat> Hold tight to your vision as you're being called to climb to a new height. <laughs> so as quickly as we've gotten there and we're in a brief layover, Hold on tight. I said that this was going to be a very busy end of the year. We're making leaps and bounds. Um, it's hard to stay stuck anymore. You know, we're, at, we're already in that Aquarian age airflow. And it's already processing us into things and out of things very quickly. Um, grounding and water or drinking a lot of water with all of the light codes coming in <clears throat> and the solar flares you're going to require a lot of water electrolytes um and grounding those codes as well because otherwise that energy just flows through your body constantly until it, until you ground it to help ground those pathways um because we're evolving so rapidly now and um, you got to stay on top of it um, to support your body. Tiger's Eye, card number 40. A new path and opportunities 
for a positive transformation await you. And just as quickly as we transform, we're birthing anew. <laughs> um, so learning to ebb and flow and being flexible, the mutable signs always do well with that. Um, another nighttime card. There's a lot processing while we're asleep at night. At nighttime. Shadow is going to be a big deal the rest of the year. Shadow, shadow, shadow. We are working any I'm hearing residue. Remaining residue in shadow. For those of us who, are, who have been welcoming this process and have been ebbing and flowing with it, we are releasing any further Anything stuck, residue is what I'm getting. Any remaining um, energies that are lingering that didn't get released. We're helping process through. Yes, of course. Yeah. Leo season is helping to um, unearth it. Any remaining. There is in the fire. Fire is fire energy of Leo. Tiger's eye. Um, yes. I can see in this card the mirror, tiger's eye, but also the crystal itself. Helping to I'm getting something time, 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 time. Astral travel. That's what it is. Astral traveling. While we are astral traveling while we're sleeping at night, we are creating new paths of opportunities for us and our new energy. We are opening the pathways because there is a lot happening here while we're awake during the daytimes. Um, the ancestors are with us while we're sleeping at night and helping us to walk those new paths and new contracts are being laid out um, for future endeavors. I was getting that the other day in one of my other readings as well. We are laying the groundwork for our new selves. Um, if you journal at all, pay really close attention to what you're writing because we are laying the groundwork intentionally for the roads ahead now we are interacting interacting with that it's a very interactive time in meditation as well we are very rapidly be very careful with what you do and what you say now it's ever more prevalent than ever that how and what you say what you, and what you do is carrying so, is so amplified now and is carrying so much more weight it really is going to determine your future now that's how powerful we're becoming instant manifestations you need to be acutely aware of that Words are, are carrying way more power than they ever have before. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm having trouble speaking again. 
because of the upgrade of that. We're upgrading that now. That's why I've been having trouble speaking. Clearing my throat. Take solace in knowing that the end of a journey marks the dawning of a new one. Oh, how so true. So, in death, so you can see here, this lovely lady is drying her, her herbs, and flowers, whatever plants. And in that death of them is a new rebirth of them creating space allowing the air flowing communication in meditation there is a lot happening in meditation right now and in our sleep <laughs> Just noticing. Every one of these cards almost has a fox in it, which is adaptability. <clears throat> Being strategic, planning, agility. Being more flexible. Coming, so what that's telling me, and in every card, the fox is flowing with us. What what that's telling me is is we are no longer accepting. unnecessary blockages in our lives. We are being nimble. We are learning to manage our energy quite well. So the king and queen of um, swords has been coming up a lot for me lately. And I actually, I'm, I'm a huge fan of... <clears throat> the um king and queen of swords actually they cut out the bullshit if you'll pardon my language bs i should have said bs um the fox is very much with us because they are showing us how to be strategic how to be discerned how to strategize in this new leg of the race. We have got a lot of communication with birds in these cards as well. And one card has a tiger and another one has a lion in it. Yeah, just a lot of communication and agility. Words are very meaningful right now. Trusting yourself and going within. One, two, three, four. Four cards have people with their eyes closed and looking as if they're in rest or in slumber. Poppy, pause for a moment and reset to reconnect with your soul. It has taken this brief moment that we're in right now, this, this brief layover until that fast movement really kicks in after the 19th of August. Um, there's something planetary happening on the 19th of August, if I'm correct. I'm not an astrologist, so I don't, um, I'm just remembering hearing one of the folks I, I pay attention to saying something about that date, but that just came to my mind too. It's pointing it out. <clears throat> this is where we're tuning, I mentioned this in one of my other readings the other day, we're tuning to this new upgrade that we've just received. 
And it's in that moment where we're connecting to that new path there, attuning to it, as I said. But we're also walking in our shadow and we're releasing that residue of past no longer Ne neglecting to address the weeds within will prevent you from abundantly receiving. Yeah, because we can't, like I just said, we can't have blockages unnecessarily anymore. We need to continue the ebb and flow, learning how to be agile, that when things, when uh, upsetting situations, um, things that triggered us before and, you know, come back up in us for, re for some more healing or whatever, we they just flow it just flows through us now we can't afford to have blockages uh of the past any longer in our lives it's too draining for us in the energy that we're in we're in a higher vibration now and we need to support ourselves as best as possible and lingering in old energies is only going to tap us out it will be a complete energy vampire for us so as people places and things that haven't evolved um, to at least were an acceptable energy where we can intermingle in them or it, uh, with them. So there's um, a, an adaptability, a, a willing to be adaptable now. Um, and that's where that inner strength is coming in now. Oh, did I, sh I don't know if I showed you this card. inner strength of the Leo season card 29 to deny your heart's joy is to deny nourishment to your spirit and that's just it it will deplete us of these things if we're not really tuned into our th authentic selves and trusting in our inner power to move forward and having the ability to maneuver through our our new lives our new energies our new paths this is a very powerful card it turns into the master number of 11 when you add the nine and the two together that's also a twin flame number this is a shaman right here incredible healing power and this is one of the strongest cards in this deck. I can tell you that right now as I feel it. I can just f feel the shaman's heart. It's the heart of a lion. The swiftness of it. The strength of it. The heart of it. Fennel, card number 19. There is nothing to fear. Trust that everything will work itself out. And that's just the thing. There's not... Um, the, the toxic uh, masculinity and um, the negative force of that. It's the divine masculine intermingled with the divine feminine now. But being in that divine feminine... Of allowing <sighs> and underneath that card is the lion 30 this reminds me of the strength card as well take a deep breath and remember that peace of mind is the key to navigating your current challenges and that's just it being at peace and in internal peace, trusting yourself and how far you've come and how much you've evolved and how much you've elevated, that in, in that is the peace of mind that you've got this. You know, um,
Beauty and the Beast. I heard that earlier today. I'm feeling Twin Flame energy right now, again. Taming. Taming the Beast. Coexisting and allowing and how powerful that statement is. <clears throat> this reminds me of the world card connected. And, and that's just it. We're becoming more and more connected in these elevations in this evolution. Um, it's, you know, I get down to the nitty gritty in these individual cards here, but o overall what we're doing is the main goal here. And that's shedding our old selves, our pasts, our ancestors are supporting us in our movement forward into these new paths, these new light energies as we evolve very rapidly on the planet and we need to be nimble, strong, and agile, allowing that ebb and flow while this is happening. And with that is a deep understanding of who we authentically are. It cuts that BS out that I was just talking about. And a deep, deep knowing of what you desire and what makes you happy and what is actually pleasurable and enjoying yourself, finding the joy in life and bringing in the people, places, and things that help support that joy. Because it is the ultimate goal. Beige, simplicity, simplicity comfort, tranquility, and modernism. Kinda said it better myself. Oops. Myrtle green. Marital fidelity, uncomplicated love, and good luck. The new age love, that's why the twin flames came in then. They're helping to, to ground the new level of, of love on this planet. Unconditional love. That I am love, God's love, because we're all God's children. We are all universal children. Lilac, helpfulness, serenity, kindness, and compassion. Mother Teresa, right there. Do small things. So, relaxation, contentment, neutrality, modernism again. There's something to be said about taking a deep breath, allowing yourself to relax, and being content, and being the observer rather than engaging in unnecessary things anymore. The discernment of the king and queen of swords. To, to what matters. And what deserves your energy and what just doesn't anymore. Brown. Stability, reliability, honesty, and comfort. That's your authentic self right there.
stability, reliability, honesty, and comfort. I literally just heard integrity, which is one of my favorite words. It's like literally one of my favorite words. I like so many words can stem off of that one word, integrity. If you have integrity, you have so many other words with that. But just the word al alone, integrity, is stability. It's love of yourself. It's, oh my god, I just love that word. <laughs> Bronze, strength, support, loyalty, stability, integrity. The power of words. Burgundy, intensity, individuality, power, sophistication. I love words, I really do. <laughs> Burnt sienna, excitement security passion and luxury and this is a good point right here that you can have excitement and have ex and have passion and luxury in that and be secure all at the same time yellow happiness optimism positivity intellect it's such a cheery card right there how high vibe that is. Oh, I just love that card. <laughs> Magenta. Kindness. Character. Change. Harmony. And that is the ultimate goal of change. So you can find harmony. If you're not allowing change, then you, you, you immediately put up more blocks. And that's um, the energy we're moving out of, as I said earlier. Hmm. I just I just got this deck. This this gorgeous deck. And I'm just being called I knew it earlier. I thought so. I posted these earlier. Look at these these gorgeous cards. Look at them. They're so beautiful. Artwork. And there we go. The poppy again. Oh my god, that's hilarious. That's the poppy. <laughs> it's the poppy. Oh. This is reminding me of soldiers. Okay, I'm getting a message from passed over soldiers. It is in that peace you find tranquility. The wars of old are gone. There's no... All battles have been waged. There's, there's no need for battles any further. As we sit truly loving you from above, We rest in knowing that the evolution of humankind knows no bounds to healing and love, and then that's what elevates us for future roads ahead. You must understand That it is in this love that carries us out of all war times from here on in. Please understand that we love you all and we are guiding you to a better future. Please embrace in knowing that this is the ancestor message you needed to hear. Well, wow. 
That was not expected whatsoever. And in that, let me read this poppy card. Nourishment. The scientific name of poppy is Papaver somniferum was derived from the word papa, papa. That's what my, da my daughter used to call my dad, papa. Which means milk and resembles the white nectar that drips from its stem. This milk harbors and carries the poppy's nutrients. Like this flora, one can never get enough nourishment. Don't be afraid to sprinkle, pour, and bathe in anything that positively nurtures your heart, mind, and soul. What will offer you nourishment and support as you aim to grow? <laughs> I guess that's peace, love, and tranquility right there. But ultimately, love, which brings the peace stability tranquility all those words we were just talking about earlier my god these are gorgeous cards wow wow thank you so much ancestors for that message that was a lot that was a 40 minute message holy smokies Whew. okay that's that's your uh, friday random reading folks I have to go back as usual and watch it because I know there'll be stuff that I missed. That went by very, very quickly. All right. Thank you, Mother Teresa, again. Thank you to my beautiful decks. Ancestors, ancestors, ancestors. They are so helping us right now. There is so much support up there. I can, I, I'm just, I'm, I, I can, I'm looking right now. And I, all the our archangels and angels are above us. Um, ancestors, I can hear them all talking. It's like all the noise, like I talk about in an auditorium before a show begins. Um, it, I'm just seeing. I'm seeing the animals in the woods. There is a flurry of activity right now. We are being helped. I'm. I'm seeing the whales and the ocean animals and they're, they're speaking to me and of course in their vibration they're, they're actually telling me that they are guiding us through that ebb and flow through the, through the water um, through that vibrational water so that means that all the water you're coming in contact with whether you're in your shower honest to God, even if you're sitting on your toilet, uh, brushing your teeth, swimming, any water you're coming in contact with, they are sending their, their vibrational love and, and guidance. We are receiving so much or, oh my God, I'm getting so much. I just got a ton of upgrades this week and I, I haven't even, <laughs> I haven't even, oh my goodness. I haven't even tapped into all of them yet, but they're appearing magically in this, this reading right now. And I'm in much gratitude about that. This is an amazing life, an amazing journey. I am incredibly grateful, and I am so blessed. Um, you all always allow yourself to grow and evolve and, and, and allow because you too can do what I can do it's just being open to that change and allowing your spiritual uh, uh, spirituality to flow and it's what we are here you know um, oh my goodness I'm gonna I gotta let y'all go on that I gotta go eat some dinner <laughs> I need to get Winnie and Benjamin some dinner too they're asleep behind me nobody's snoring though that's always a good thing. Benjamin's, his head's right behind me. Right behind me. He snores really loud. And he's not even a year old yet. He's already a big snorer. All right. Thank you so much for joining me here for this random reading today. I will be back tomorrow for the Saturday self-care message. Um, I'm getting...
products. There, there will be new essential oils and there will be herbs and much, much more I hear. Wow, this is very, he's gotten very spunky. <laughs> I'm feeling very spunky. I'm also feeling very lit up right now because I, I'm receiving upgrades in my gifts. So that's very, 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 very pleasing to me and makes me very, very happy. That means I'm, I'm doing the work and I'm doing a good job. So I'm being rewarded. Can't go wrong in that category. Thanks, everybody. You guys have a great night. Peace and love to you all. One love. Have a great night.